Today's episode is brought to you by Audible. Go to audibletrial.com slash hadoukendat because Audible's offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their service. And I would recommend the new Star Wars books that are out now, like especially Aftermath by Chuck Wendig. It breaks my heart that a lot of the Star Wars books that I read in middle and high school, they're not part of the canon, but the book Aftermath is, and it literally picks up seconds right after episode six ends. So check them out, audibletrial.com slash hadoukendet for your free audiobook download and 30-day trial. He'll be a part of the show in this episode. shirt changes in between episodes i know that's what i I was gonna text you that but i didn't want to be like oh another thing i gotta do you ready yeah are you already recording yeah that whole time (laughs) i'll edit it yeah please do (laughs) oh this is an exciting show barrett's staring at his phone (laughs) no i yeah i wouldn't put that on youtube (laughs) So I wanted to give you your book back. Okay. I read it in a day. Uh, <laughs> was, a whole day? Yeah, it was really good. God it was me. a Saturday. Didn't have anything else to do. Wow. The book is called It's All Fun and Games by Dave Barrett, who my kids apparently think that I'm related to because they don't know how last names work. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, you're related to him. Uh-huh. I'm like, no. He's, his last name is my first name. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. It was fun. Nice. I wasn't sure I would because I don't really care for live action role playing, uh-huh. but it took off, so it was kind of yeah. interesting. Once it turned into like an the actual real fantasy thing. book, yeah, yeah. So it's a book about larpers in the woods for a weekend, mm-hmm. and then at some point when they're walking through the woods, it turns into real, yeah, life. Um, so they're role playing, and then go through the woods. Magic happens, and they're really fighting. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and all of their stats and everything that they had actually became became it in real life. Part of them, yeah. It was really funny the when they're still not sure or they still haven't figured it out yet and he's like, I've got a negotiation plus four or something <laughs> like that and the person just stares at him and is like Yeah. So what's that mean? Because <laughs> he thought he was giving it to like a NPC. Yeah. And they'd say, Oh, well in that case, let me tell you the secrets. Uh-huh. So I liked it. <sighs> So I'm waiting for the sequel. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about Mm-mm. follow-ups or anything like that? I, I, I won that book from a Nerdist uh-huh. um, contest. So hopefully he, he'll he put out something else. I think he's a teacher. Dave Baird is a teacher of some sort. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I liked at the end he said, uh, in the acknowledgments, he said thank you to the guy who started... Uh, National Novel Writing Month. Oh, yeah. So that was kind of cool. I'm going to do that this month, this November. Yep. <laughs> Again. You do it every November, don't you? I do. And you just got to get it out there. I know. <laughs> do you let anybody read anything you've written yet? No. It's a shame. I know. Yeah, he teaches accounting. <laughs> <laughs> so. so maybe your kids weren't that far off yeah, from know, being right? related to you. <laughs> That reminds, so did you see the Goldberg? Uh, maybe not, because I think it's only on Hulu. It's a Hulu advertisement for the Goldbergs. But uh, uh, Barry comes in to his dad, and he's like, a bookkeeper? I don't want to be a librarian. <laughs> the dad's like, a bookkeeper's not a librarian, you moron. <laughs> yeah, you moron. <laughs> hey, moron. Stop being a moron. It, I love it, his dad. It took me a second to get that joke, though, because, <laughs> like... I think of bookkeeper as a bookkeeper. Yeah, I'm like, how yeah, in the world is he getting yeah. librarian? But then he's like, oh, an actual keeper of books. <laughs> he like has the mind of a six year old of what they would think. Of. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Um. So, do you think you're good at adulting? I think that's the stupidest hashtag. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not adulting good. Uh-huh. So we're gonna talk about that today for our yeah. topic. 
stop taking pride in not knowing how to do basic Bleak. stuff. Crap. Yeah. So that's the article that we want to talk about today. I sent this to you. A friend of mine posted this. Um, I didn't realize this was a problem as much as the article talked about it being mm -hmm. a problem. Like people who brag about, oh, I changed the light bulbs in my house today. I'm such an adult. Uh -huh. I didn't realize that was yeah. a thing. But apparently it is. And this article is like, stop bragging about that. It's mm -hmm. not. It's something you should be embarrassed about. Yeah, not, I didn't. Not cute or quirky. Yeah. And I think definitely like TV shows have played into that mm -hmm. and like we watch it and like ah that's funny oh mm -hmm. that's cute oh you spend all your money on you know shoes and you don't have money for food and lights and mm -hmm. electricity oh ha 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 somebody knocks on your door and they're like you texted me said it was an emergency what is it and they come in and they're like can you take this lid off of this jar know, of peanut yeah. butter for yeah. me or something like that it's like ha ha okay Cody come on yeah so I I don't think I ever took pride in, like, not knowing how to cook mm -hmm. or whatever. Like, oh, I guess I'm going to go out to eat again. Uh -huh. You mm -hmm. know, I just, I don't know. I just, it's like this prolonged, we live in a, like, society now where, like, there's this prolonged adolescence now, mm -hmm. I think, you know, and I guess it's just more accepted. Mm -hmm. So... I, I mean, and people are fine with it. They're yeah. like, oh, you don't know how to do that? Okay. I'll it's pay, funny. Pay me and I'll do it for you yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I th I th and the article's quick to point out it doesn't mean you have to be perfect and know how to do everything, but mm -hmm. the point is don't brag about the things you don't know. Yeah. If you actually want to learn them, and I think that's my point, and it is go learn these things. Yeah. Don't revel in the fact that you don't know how to do something uh -huh. go figure it out it's, it's nobody else's job to teach you how to do it yeah so i like that there was this part in the article when it says you don't be, you don't wake up one day and magically know how to do things mm -hmm. that being an adult requires we didn't just wake up one day and understand how investing and personal finance and budgets and mm -hmm. and being dads and being husbands and all this kind of stuff yeah. worked it takes a lot of work uh -huh. to learn that stuff i think it starts with like at least a small amount a small desire to want to learn mm -hmm. how to do something or you know budget or whatever mm -hmm. um and we've definitely talked on this show plenty of times about uh, not needing to learn everything mm -hmm. so working in your strengths and stuff like that mm -hmm. like you know you with car repairs and me with not stuff like that <laughs> but i think that there's a ba there's a level of basic understanding that i think that you should have yeah and that doesn't necessarily mean everybody needs to know how to rebuild an engine yeah but like everybody needs to know if not how to change a, a tire. tire on a car yeah how to drive with a flat tire oh stuff like that i know? don't know if i would know how to do that so that you don't freak out when something happens yeah. and you can at least pull over safely and mm -hmm. not just park in the middle of the freeway yeah and wait for a tow truck <laughs> or how to get out of your car and push it when it doesn't start yeah stuff like that so yeah i think i was talking to a co-worker old co-worker and she she didn't know how to put air in her tires mm -hmm. and use a tire gauge. And I was like, really? <laughs> you know. I found like a great thing at the Wawa and the Playdown. It has a tire, air, an air yeah. compressor yeah. that will stop when it reaches the right tire pressure for you. Do you have to put... Nope. You don't have to get, put something to say nope it's I built into the thing so wow you go there you dial in what air pressure you want it to be at so you put it to 32 oh, and then you hold okay. it on to the nozzle on the tire huh. and it'll fill it up to that point and then beep when it gets to that point so you can go to the next tire oh wow it's pretty cool because those little cheap air pressure gauges suck <laughs> okay that's what i have yeah those things where it just like pops out yeah i don't care for those so <laughs> This one tells you as it's filling. So there, <clears throat> excuses gone. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, just things like that. Um, 
Uh, Cody, stop. I think we're going to talk about this. I, I want to talk about this on a future one, how we're raising our kids and the things. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. I remember know. that. Um, but just the things that I'm surprised other people don't know how to do. Yeah. That I just picked up. And you kind of assume everybody was raised the same way you were mm-hmm. and knows how to do some of the stuff you do. Yeah. But you just, you find out some people weren't and don't know. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, wow, that's surprising to me. But the point of this article is when they brag about it. Like, yeah. ha, ha, ha. It's cute. Didn't know how to sew a button onto my pants, so I went and bought a new pair. Yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. Didn't know how to, uh, you know, ch- yeah, change my flat tire. Had to buy a new car. Mm-hmm. And like, what? <laughs> yeah, they in the article, they talk about something like, just bu- just spent the last of my paycheck on a bottle of wine. Yeah. And now I'm watching, what is it? No, I'm watching Netflix, Netflix on an account I share with I, seven I, yeah, other people. Yeah. In an apartment that's dark because I don't know how to change the light, light bulbs. Bulb. Yeah. But the volume turned all the way up because my smoke alarms have been beeping for the past three <laughs> months. Gosh. It's yeah, like, that's it's sad. It is. Really. I'm just like, I don't think I've ever let myself get to that point. Even when I, I mean, when I was a bachelor or, I, I mean, I was living with my mom. So she kind of took care of those things. But I never... She never let me do laundry, but I didn't, when I got married and moved in with Janie, it's not, it's never like I was like, oh, I don't know how to do laundry. I'll just buy new underwear. Mm -hmm. Like I never thought to just be that lazy, Mm -hmm. you know? I think for us, in our cases, we started off pretty broke (laughs) (laughs) yeah, and not with like $150,000 a year job straight out of college. So a lot of the stuff that we learned was because we couldn't afford to pay anybody else to do it for us uh-huh. yet. Um, and so, you know, we had responsibilities and we had things that we had to take care of. And yeah. that was on us to do it because yeah. nobody else is going to do it for us. It kind of reminds me of, um, what's that one doctor on Scrubs, the the woman, Ellie? Uh, or Elliot. Elliot. Yeah. Like once her dad cut her off from all the money, then she was like really struggling and didn't mm-hmm. know how to do certain things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't want my I don't want Chloe or Caleb to ever be in that situation where they just ignore something and mm-hmm. just keep living like that. You know, mm-hmm. like I want to be able to teach them. Or like I never I never who officially learns how to cook. Like I just watched my mom cook. She mm-hmm. never let me cook, but I just watched what she did. And I kind of do, I just do the same thing she does, Mm -hmm. you know? Like, I don't know how people can say, I don't know how to cook. Yeah. Like, I'm like, even, I mean, you know, what's, what's, what does home economics teacher tell you? It's like, if you know how to read, you know how to cook. Like, all you do is just read the thing. Right. And just do that. Or, I mean, we even have a better situation pull up a video yeah and watch a video on how to do it Mm -hmm. so i think that's the part that makes me so upset about it is like you have access to most of the same resources that everybody else does Uh you don't know how to do something start listening to a podcast yeah start watching videos yeah google how to do it Uh and do it like i started i don't know how to save for retirement i don't know what to pick so i'm not gonna do it won't do it yeah i'm just gonna sit here and do nothing yeah like, I've watched plenty of YouTube videos on how to shave a shih tzu, mm-hmm. and I just do it. It wasn't, was it perfect the first time? No, it wasn't even perfect the fifth time, but I'm getting better every time I do it. Yeah. I mean, you read a men- you read a recipe on cooking something, you might not understand, like, the different words that they use, like, baste or uh, saute yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But you can watch a video, how yeah. to saute, <laughs> and go watch and learn yeah. how to do that. And then you do it, and it's not going to be the best mm-hmm. every single time. Yeah. But eventually, you learn how to do it, and, mm-hmm. and you can do it yourself. Yeah. So, we um, baked chocolate chip cookies last Sunday with mm-hmm. my kids, and I let them measure out the stuff. Mm-hmm. And of course, it wasn't right, but we still ate the cookies, mm-hmm. you know, and taste okay, mm-hmm. you know. We just have such a uh, high standard for ourselves. Like, if it's not perfect, I'm not going to do it ever. Mm-hmm. And that's final. <laughs> oh!
波動拳。